All right, welcome down to Hickey Park. Match between Wilston Grange and Maroochydore on the Q AFLW match here this afternoon. Just about to bounce, kick off. Uh, Rowan Briggs here in uh, commentary. We've got joined with Shannon Campbell, AFL uh, Lions player. How are you going, Shannon? Good, Briggsy. How are you? Um, mate, I am excited. I'm pumped. Ready to rock and roll. Umpire holds the football up, ready to go. Match the day. Both players go out in tight, tight condition there. Go a good, nice clearance there from Maroochydore, heading down to one of the Sills girls. Takes a good mark just outside 50. Kicks deep into the forward line. Bit of a clanging mark there, nothing going. Off the ground, kicks a fantastic opening goal. There you go, it's always a fast start. And it's always a very fast start, it was good. First goal, what about a minute down? Not even. Fantastic opening start there. So Maroochydore will be pretty up and about actually, Shan, about uh, getting that first goal against the reigning Premiers. Absolutely. And they'll be wanting a fast start, especially after the last week against Cool and Gatta going down as well. So um, it'll be really good confidence for these girls to get out there, get a, get a quick goal. Umpire throws the football back up. Rucks go back at it again. Ball's loose on the ground there at the moment, trying to fight for it. Range gets some sort of a possession out of there. They move forward. Player's gone down, a bit of an accidental head knock there, I'd say. Umpire's going to ball that up. We'll see how she goes, whether she comes back up to her feet. It's a fair bit of bump and tackling. Everything Looks happening like in the I think it's Kathy Slark that's down at the moment. She's back up now, though. Back up, rigor roll. Tap goes down. Ball back down there on the ground again. Clearance. Through to Wilson Grange's first forward entry for the day. Ball is in dispute on the ground, pops back out. And McNeil kicks that one forward, off the ground again. And that is a sausage roll down to Wilson Grange, scores our level. So far, no one's actually taken possession and kicked the football. It's just uh, let's kick it off the ground, shall we? Scores like this, I think we're going to have a big, uh, quite a big scoring match, hey Shan? It's pretty exciting so far, so I know. might be a big, big scoring game, we'll see. I'm sure once the lights come on and the, uh, the dew starts to, to hang onto the ground, it might get a little bit more difficult to hold the footy. Ball back down, in dispute, another clearance there. Beautifully taken out. Jess has got that one out here. Ash Hales comes from half back, kicks it forward. Well, it seems to be the shorter people seem to pick up that football off the ground quite easily. Well, there you go. Seriously. You're yeah, probably again. looking at the Seals twins today. See, yeah, the Seals, they're, they're always down there. They're down close to the ground, so they, they get the ball quite often. They can dish it out to all the others. Jesse Seals again, smothered off the boot. Rachel Crack now with the footy. She's had a shot at goal. It's gone out of bounds. Out They'll of throw bounds. it in. Just need a little interesting tidbit there. Got our Grace, the boundary umpire. It's only her second game of footy, so she's only just started new. Throw the footy in, waiting for the instructions. There she goes. Nice throw too. Not bad. Got away with that one. Couple of... Just pinballing around in there at the moment. It hasn't been too many clean possessions yet, but I think that's just the start of the footy. It's a bit frantic to start with. Absolutely. So as the game progresses and it opens up, we'll start to see those clean possessions and the girls getting hold of the footy a bit more. Charlotte Kittle has been pinned, holding the ball. Took, take too long. Ooh. Are they going to pay 50? No. Thought, thought they might have paid 50 for not getting the footy back there. Tiftel made the tackle, gets rewarded. It might have been a original player had the football there, I'm not sure. Ruby, moving it down, puts it in towards. Is that Kels? Jesse Seals, I believe that Jessie. is. Jesse. 
hard to tell sometimes with these two. I've only been uh, watching those two play footy for a few years. Still can't tell them apart. All right, so the boundary kicked it out in the full here. So Wilson Grange will have a free kick down in their back pocket. Emily Bashford looks like she's going to bring it back in. I'm loving the fence down here at Wilson Grange. Makes it look like a real nice. Picture, picturesque park they've got going on down here now. Odette, close to the boundary line. Just a poke, little kick down there, not a bad one. Amy kicks it off, puts it back through to the corridor. Oh, the umpire's gone down umpire too. Umpire has gone down. Down the middle of the Not too good. Get back up, my man. Here we go. Oh! Kicked it there, not paid deliberate, which is fine. So you can tell what the Grange are going to do today, I think. They're going to try and link up through the middle and kind of go down the wing a little bit and obviously look inside when they can as well. So Are you talking about before? Bit, Sorry, you're talking about before about clean possessions. They finally had a strong couple there together. Yeah. Hitting targets, she's going to re-throw that footy back in. All right, here we go again. And Jess Take in two. the ruck. Interesting battle anyone. today though. Yeah, two, I think. fairly uh, evenly, evenly matched as well with the height and everything. Absolutely. That's a pretty handy mark there. So that's Jai Epstein. Yep. She's kicked it out to the wing. Range has turned it over again though. Kathy's Mark with the ball. Jai's come from uh, netball, so you're always going to have pretty good hands, I'd imagine. Absolutely. And that's what you find with a lot of these cross-coded athletes that are coming across to AFL now as well. They bring different attributes to the game that you know, can help the rest of the team as well. So Jaya obviously with the, the ball hand, hand eye coordination. Great hit from Spud, kicks it down to down to Jesse and oh. I've seen an encroachment on the mark there I'd say, 50 metres. There you go. So it's Jesse, going to take her straight to the top of the Jesse uh, Seals goal square. right in front has a shot for goal. Do we catch who uh, kicked those opening two goals uh, from before? So I think from Ruchino it was Ruby McDowell. Ruby McDowell. Jesse Seals. Second goal. It's goal for goal at the moment. On the road! Got quite a rowdy spectator over there. I think we'd recognise that voice, wouldn't we, Shan? The moose has made his way down to Wilston Grange today. Keep an, keep an ear out for the moose calling out. He hasn't, he hasn't seen me over here just yet. He doesn't know that I'm uh, calling the game at the moment. Shout out to uh, Stu Whitney. Back in the centre, rocks go at it again. Looks like Spud's got the football again, kicks it forward. It's a saving grace, she's got the mark there, she's played it on. Interesting disposal that one, but that's yeah. alright, we'll keep going. <laughs> nice intercept mark Shire there, Kittle, Taylor Gesh. Great kick too, straight down the line, to the tall target. Yep. That's what you want, you want to, want to get your tools on the on the opposition smalls. Jess Cottrell, you've probably got a bit of a tank, you may outrun the, her other ruckman there. Looks like Rubes just gets that handball back into the guts. Oh no, sorry, that's Ruby now with the football. Ellen Howard pops the football back out. That's a Ruby again. Catherine kicks the foot. I'm going to get all these girls by their first name if you don't mind, Shannon. That's all right. That's okay. Well, I figure it's the first name that's on the list next to their numbers. It's probably the easiest thing to do, to call. Free kick to Wilson Grange for holding on. Plus, I can't really uh, pronounce uh, Catherine's last name very well. Svark. Svark. Yeah. Catherine's She's got the footy at the moment. From Slovakia or something like that. I'd imagine so. She's dived on the football here. This could be an interesting result. Yes, holding the ball. Probably shouldn't have done that. Free kick, Wilston Grange. Lining up is, I'm going to call this girl CMT. CMT. Just kicks it forward into the pocket. Maddie Peters. I think she's in range here too, Briggsy. She's in range, on a she's tight a pretty, angle though. Pretty sharp shooter actually, Maddie, yep. Maddie is. Okay. Um, probably kicked a few from this area last year actually, so. 
Maddie's pocket. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to her. We'll see how she goes. I tell you what, you're not far off. There you go. She slotted it. And too, so. she has kicked a bug. Oh. She's very good. Oh, you she's know, very talented. You know, board, you, you know your stuff, don't you? Yeah. So she's. I've obviously played alongside Maddie before, so. Um, yeah, she's practiced a lot of her goal kicking, and she she can kick it from um, multiple different angles. So it's something that holds her in good esteem for you know as a as a forward player. So uh, has a great shot. Up. Has she always played in Crawford W, or was she more of the uh, the big one? Um, I believe she's always been in Crawford W. Okay. Um, especially when, well, at least from when I've played with her or against her. There you go, Kate Salmon with the footy. Nickname Spud. Spud. She's a little, little power. A bit of a footy so far. Little rocket she is. Now Eva Dell. Footy's Touch gone out on the wing. Throws the ball back in, please. We've got lurking around the pack there. Jesse, Kelsey from Ruchador. Yeah, so you've got, got a few. So, they did. Um, Waiting for the drop there as well. Throw a bit short, but uh, it's all right. Spud. Oh. What's she going to do with this now? She'll just drop it in to Got probably. Lead coming from, probably uh, Beffa from coming up. Banksy coming in. Just a little bit to the wrong side of her, but it's worked out so far. Oh. First behind. Banks. Mary Beth Banks, one behind. There's the moose. I hope you get that in the effects mic there. Loves following his daughter Morgan around. Massive supporter of uh, AFL footy. So Briggsy, yes. question. Shoot. Which you may not be able to answer. But who do you think would be the game changers from these two teams if you were to if I was to ask you? Probably uh, play with the football right about now. Is, uh, is probably uh, Ruby and Catherine. Yeah, Catherine's back. Go all right. Particularly for Wilson Grange out there. Um, like I said, Jessica McMullen Matthews. Yes, so the captain. Yeah. Captain. She, she certainly is a bit of a game changer from time to time. Run around out there with her. Um, from Maruchidor, look, like you say, Ed. Spud, Kate Sermon had the football before, um, particularly in the engine room there, but the Sills twins as well. Absolutely. Like I say, they're going to always pick up a couple of handy goals here and there, as well. So, right, so Beth Banks having a shot at goal. It's come off the side of the boot pushed a little bit, pushed it through to the behind. And Wilson Grange will kick it back in. Ruby. It's interesting to see the new kick-in rule being applied as well. See how the girls use that to their advantages as well. I think a lot of the changes actually, Shannon, have really been an advantage. That kick-in, for instance, really makes the footy just fly out of that back half and gets it into the, into the midfield as well. Absolutely. Some of the girls can get it outside of 50 now, now that they can run that extra little bit without obviously having to kick it to themselves. Absolutely. As the footy comes down to the wing and Wilson Grange works it out of their back half. It's a good score there for Lauren Shackleton actually as well, so didn't want to let the original player get the ball. Knocks it forward, down. About five minutes to go in the first quarter. Scoreline reads, Maruchador 2-2, 14 to Wilson Grange, two straight. Had to throw again. Coming in a little bit flat there. Maybe a little bit nervous. Could well be. It's all right. She'll get the hang of it. There you That's go. better. There we go. That's a beautiful one. Spud. Could be the pressure there by Amy Kelly. And uh, Wilson Grange there to just affect that kick. Great marker here by Bell Smith. So Bell Smith's very young pup. 
because I'd like to say 16 only really? yeah. in the Lions Academy, um, having a shot at goal. She's about 35 out. I'd say she'll be able to slot this one too. Very good kick on her. A good one. You've just put and the I've jinxed her. Curse. I have definitely put the well commentator's done. curse on her. There you go. She's pushed it out to the right hand side, and they've got another point on the board. Jessica McMullen, Matthews, M&M, &M. the football back in. Nickname of Bomber. Bomber, is it? Does follow the Essendon Bombers. Oh, who, does she um, now? Uh, does up she against now? the Lions, that's, that's I believe, good, today. And good. potentially that game has finished now. But... We'll have to do a uh, score update shortly just to see if uh, if that's the case. Go around the game. Grounds. Around the grounds. I know, you're, the grounds. I know you're an Essendon fan. We'll get special Frizzy. comments from uh, Joe Main in a minute just to see if she can do a bit of an update on the other games being played. The Moose is back. Laura pumps that one into the forward 50. Ella Smith chasing up that ball right in there. And the Gurkha kicking it out there from the Wilson Gaines back line. Last line of defence for Emma there. Yeah. It looked pretty promising. They should have Interesting to see her up. down that far. She's usually on the wing, so she's obviously been told to play that defensive wing role and push back when they need it. She's unfortunately turned it over there now, though, to Kate Sermon. Reads the ball well. Gets the flight. Absolutely. Pumps the football into the 50. Pack Good contest. Flies. Ball's come out. Clearing kick. It's going to come out to a bit of an uncontested football there. Merchant have got the ball, pop of the hands around there. Looks like oh, Ash oh. Hales, no Stop. prior opportunity. Football comes out, player stays down the ground but gets straight back up. Free kick advantage out to the wing this time. Ball goes out of bounds, some says. Could you throw that in please? Thank you very much. Right. How are we going with those scores, Shan? Score line? Oh, no, from around the grounds. Oh, I'm trying to get that at the moment, okay. actually. So I'm just trying to find out. Earlier on today, Ashley took on uh, Yoronga. Women out there at Brendale. Yoronga, too strong, got over the top there. Uh, in saying that, though, they did come back fairly strong in the fourth quarter. Um, but still, Yoronga, too strong. Holding the ball paid. Merchador free kick on the far wing from where the camera is. He goes forward 50. Kelsey Sills looks like she's picked up the football caught on her tail. Looks like Emily Bashforth. Oh, right in the goal square. Jesse Sills. Lines up, left foot, straight over the goal umpire's head. Jesse Sills. Go the moose. Second goal for the day, Shan. Uh, now, speaking of which, we had a bit of an update there. Cooperoo, oh sorry, my apologies. Coolangatta, Tweed. Uh, looks like a fairly handsome lead there of 70 points, 76 points to six over UQ at the moment. Was that an expected uh, sort of result, you think? It's hard to tell, actually. Early in the season, yeah, I suppose absolutely. you have got a lot of the uh, rep players and Lions players are backing their teams. It's also yet. first round, well, second round now. Yep. Everyone's still getting back into it as well. So, obviously, it will get strengthened by those AFLW players coming back in. But um, it's also the girls that are at the club currently training and stuff, just getting used to playing again and gelling as a team. Good connection there through the Wilston Grange in the midfield. Catherine Stark, Svark, kicks the football. Deep into the forward 50, but it's been picked up down here by Marichador's clearing kick to I don't know who it is. Big pack flies, no one takes the grab. Push in the back, paid Marichador. So Martha's got the footy. Tiffdale out on the wing. Jumped on the mark there. Rachel Fillmore on the mark, putting the pressure on there. Quick turnover though. Page. Page, that's another name for you to pronounce, and you've got younger eyes than I have. 
Look, I'm not even. <laughs> shell. 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 We'll go with shell. Apologies, Paige, if that is incorrect. It could probably not. Ash. Kicks a pie. Down the wing. Out of bounds. Can't be too long left in this last quarter, I'd say. Probably only about 30 seconds. Boundary throw in right near the interchange. So, Anne McNeil going up for the ruck again for Wilson Grange. Fair tap him. Ball gets caught, pops out there. That could be. No! Yes! Oh. Umpire's called that one from a long way away, Holding too. Holding the ball. Catherine Spark. There's oh. the siren. Is Catherine going to have a shot? Barrel, no. Barrel from the middle of the Wind's field. not that strong. She says, no, nah, I'll be right. All right. What have we got? Quarter time score. 3 3 21. Ritual lead. Wilson Grange. Two goals straight 12. Join you shortly for the second quarter. <laughs> 